Hey guys, welcome back to Caveman Mining. I hope everyone is well and having a great day. I just want to let you guys know that in this video, we are going to be breaking down the test bench, taking off the 3060 light hash revision two card and putting it back up on the hanging rig. The reason why we're gonna be putting this card back up on the hanging rig is because Hive OS has updated their version uh, of software to support the T-Rex Miner 0.24.0, uh, which does the dual mining. We're going to be doing uh, tests in Hive OS with Ethereum and Ergo, potentially uh, Ravencoin and Ethereum, to do the dual mining to see if we can get the full light hash unlock. We ran the test in Windows on the last video. I was not super impressed. Uh, just from the mere outlook of profitability, it just didn't make sense to use the T-Rex miner, uh, dual uh, miner for er Ergo and uh, Ethereum versus mining Ethereum straight up. Uh, clearly mining uh, Ethereum straight up, even on the light hash card, was more profitable than doing the dual mining. So we'll see if there is any difference at all doing this in Hive OS. So uh, we will do the work for you guys and uh, we'll get that card hanging back up here in a flash and then we'll get us back into Hive OS. So see you in just a second. All right guys, so we have the RTX 3060 light hash revision two card removed from the test bench and back up where it belongs on the hanging rig in Hive OS. And uh, we've gone ahead and already uh, updated the Hive OS version. So you can see we've got the RTX 3060 card registering there. And the uh, uh, version of um, Hive OS is uh, at 211007. So uh, make sure you have that updated for the T-Rex miner. So we will see you guys in just a second with a transition into Hive OS on the laptop. Okay guys, so we are back on the PC and we are in Hive OS and uh, we already started the miner so everything is going. But I wanted to jump in and show you guys how we go about setting up your flight sheet and setting up the arguments so that you can dual mine using the new T-Rex miner. So first things first, make sure you have uh, the current and or the last version of Hive OS, which supports T-Rex Miner. So I think the 210906, um, which was released on 10.7, um, which I actually didn't get, I had to wait, wait for it, um, uh, introduces the dual mining uh, for T-Rex, which is version 0.24.0. Uh, so just uh, have that in mind, or you can just jump right up to the current version, which is 211007. Um, that is a must uh, in order to do this. If you're running uh, the 0 0.23.0 uh, or before uh, T-Rex Miner, you will not be able to unlock the full hash rate on your light hash rate card and or mine uh, dual mine, so to speak. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the flight sheet. Okay, I want to show you guys how I have my flight sheet set up so that, that this can work. Uh, let me fix the name of it. Uh, test T-Rex. That's more uh, appropriate if I can type here. Uh, the coin uh, just uh, will leave that as Ethereum because I do want to start with Ethereum uh, to mine obviously we've got our wallet set up go ahead and just add whatever pool you have for your ethereum pool and the important part is to jump into setup miner config and when you click that um, i'm going to have you go where it says extra arguments and there is the little uh, expand it's kind of like a three-tier uh, box in the bottom right go ahead and drag that down so we can expand the the list view for the arguments uh, make sure you have your worker uh, argument up there and make sure the spaces, the colons, and the quotations are as uh, listed here uh, because if you don't have that in the right order or the right space, uh, this will not work and it will error out on you. 
So worker is the first one. Then you have your coin, which is just default coin. And then down below in the third line is the probably one of the more important arguments is the light hash rate dash algo. And this is where you specify the secondary algorithm that you would like to mine. So in my case, it's auto Lycos. I have auto Lycos 2 is what we would input here in HiveOS. If we happen to be mining Ravencoin, we would put uh, Kapow in here. And I believe uh, Conflux is CFX, if I am correct. So you want to have that um, listed between the quotations in that argument. And then URL2 is going to be the secondary pool in which that coin mines to. In our case, it's the pool uh, wool po uh, Wooly Pulley, which is the uh, pool we're using to mine Ergo. Uh, and then you just go ahead and for the user two line, go ahead and plug in your wallet address for that secondary coin and then your password uh, to set up, you know, whatever you have there for your a password and then just make sure on the bottom here you see version 0 0.24.0 make sure that that is at the latest version or at least at that version um, because there could be more releases of uh, software coming out and then you do want to apply that to your workers okay so uh, from here what I want to take a look at is in the actual worker we're going to jump into the hive shell we want to get that going and uh, i want to take a look at the hash rates uh, as the hive shell is loading there because that will take a second when you go to your release notes okay in uh, t-rex minor it's going to explicitly tell you what your overclocks should be you know your core clock or your absolute lock core clock memory uh, fan is just kind of per per you know comfortability and then power level so on my particular card the 3060 okay if we go back to the release notes in order to achieve these uh, hash rates it's specifying specifying us to have a power limit of uh, 90 watts for the locked clock and then we have our uh, lock cl uh, core clock set to 1250 mem 1300 which would be in windows and then of course you know everything is double within linux slash hive os so that would be the equivalent to 2600 and core zero so that's what we have here that's what we have set uh, no complaints with that let's go ahead and jump into hive shell and we'll take a look at what this is doing real time on both algorithms and uh, out the gate here, we are already mining on light hash rate level 30, which is good. That means we have not engaged the uh, lock so far. You'll see once you once something triggers the lock, you'll start to lower in levels. So kind of want to stay at the higher levels as that goes. Taking a look here. Um, We've got a power level of 88 watts, fan at 55%. Uh, efficiency on Ethereum is 158 kilowatts uh, per hour. And then we kind of scroll down here, we see Auto Lycos um, mining on the pool Wooly Pulley. We have 73 mega, 73.47 mega hash, 62 degrees, 88 watt, uh, watts of power, 55. 835 kilowatts per hour efficiency so matching that with um, uh, these hash rates so we just pulled another hash rate 13.81 and 74.10 so um, not too bad I think comparing out the gate hash rates between the test we did in Windows and Hive I think we may be a little bit more efficient here in terms of hash rate. One thing I will note, uh, when we did this test on our test be bench in Windows, we were only running one power supply. On our hanging rig, we have two conjoined power supplies, which is going to create a little bit more 
load or create a little bit more stress from a power consumption perspective. So you can see at the wall, we're pulling a little bit higher versus where we were pulling in windows on the test bench with that one PSU. So we're pulling around 180 watts-ish here uh, with the two PSUs, kind of bouncing between like 170 and 180 um, in windows on the test uh, bench running the same algorithms we were getting between 156 and 166 ish watts so i think that's the variance that we're seeing it's not so much that there's a, a big difference other than i think we're running an, an extra power uh, psu on the hanging rig here but i will say the hash rates seem to be a little bit better on hive os um, Getting the getting a uh, 75 mega hash on Ergo and still in the 13 range on Ethereum, so not too bad. Again, I am going to just pull up what to mine on here, and we'll do a uh, quick, um, you know, snapshot of profitability within the range of what we're doing so we'll just say let's just leave it at 14 uh, mega hash because I think we'll get there if we let uh, the hive shell uh, cook up and run a little bit and you can see um, autolycos is running up to 78 almost 79 mega hash there so we'll just say for the sake of argument 14 mega hash on ETH and we'll do 75 on ergo with I said we're 180 watts at the wall let me just make sure I have nothing else plugged in here at the moment so yes if we take a look at the calculations here we've got 95 cents on ethereum and we have 0.68 cents on ergo so $1.63 cents in terms of profitability based off of the power and um, mega hash so again we'll just do another quick pointer i know this particular light hash revision two card can achieve in the realm of 40 mega hash probably at about 150 ish watts and that's two dollars and 36 cents right so we still have a you know still have a a variance in terms of 73 cents uh difference if we were to just mine ethereum straight up over mining the you know the two algorithms um uh here so yeah we're still now pulling over uh 14 mega hash on um ethereum so i think we were pretty accurate with that um, representation on the calculation of ethereum so yeah guys uh i'm still i guess i guess really go going from here right where, where, where do we go from here with the miners and and these uh you know the ability for these devs to to crack these cards a little further technically yes we are getting we're we're 100 percent um breaking the light hash rate on the card we're able to achieve full full hash rate but mixing the two coins and algorithms we are not still able to break the full hash rate on a single algorithm and coin so that has to be what's next now t-rex miner was the first guys to kind of do this quote unquote full hash rate lock you're going to see the other miners follow suit we're going to see probably in the next week or so nb miner is going to do it G miner is going to do it. Um, so you see this race between the different uh, miners and developers. But I think also there's a collaboration that's happening be behind the scenes. And I think these guys really, um, you know, to stay alive, they <laughs> they want to crack this. They want to crack this code. Um, they know the end of Ethereum is coming. They know all of these uh, variables are happening. So I'm really hoping that we get that full hash rate unlock on a single algorithm it's almost like the race to who can do that first so it's pretty exciting to see guys pretty exciting i'm still uh 
you know, even though the profitability is not quite there, my conclusion is this is again, another step forward, another step in the right direction. And it's good to see. So guys, I really hope you learned something, uh, in terms of us showing you how to dual mine slash get that full hash rate unlock in hive os on the rtx 3060 light hash revision 2 i always put an asterisk on that uh, card um, feel free to let me know in the comments if you have done this yet within hive os if there's something that i can change or i can do better in terms of efficiency and from what you saw in this video let me know your overclocks let me know your hash rates let me know your efficiencies uh, and let me know the different kind of cards you're running for the light hash rate tests. It would be really cool to see. So we'll see what comes in the future, guys. Um, but for now, uh, we'll cut the video here. Please like and subscribe so we can keep the channel flowing and going and doing these uh, tests. And I appreciate that all from everyone. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day. And we will see you on the next video. Take care.